All right, what happened after I was arrested by the Pacifica police? Well, first they put me in handcuffs, then they searched my body, asking where my ID was and all that. They couldn't find anything on my in my pockets or anywhere. So then they turned to my bag, which was on the ground, and uh, searched it without my permission. Pull, pull, uh, pulled out my iPad, asked if I stole it, said uh, asked if I or said that they were looking for tools to break into the library, and then they got my wallet, and I think they took ten dollars from it, and pulled out the ID and started making a big deal about, oh, you wouldn't tell us, I uh, you, you had your ID in the in the bag, and I I didn't I didn't have any obligation to tell them. Then they pulled up a picture of me on their on their uh, cell phone that they got from the California driver's licenses place. From 2008, so I did have a driver's license from California that I got 2008. They asked me why I didn't tell them that, and I just, I, I just said I forgot. So, I'm curious what kind of. They asked me if I had a beard back then uh, to coordinate with uh, the picture from the California driver's license, and I, I didn't. Um, yeah, they kept. The, the supervisor insisted that the ID was the only way to identify me. And I kept insisting, no, that's not that's not how it works. Okay, I, I, I told him that he's just making the law up as he goes along. And he's like, you know, this that's policy and blah, blah, blah. And I, he, it felt like he was giving me attitude. So I said, you got a real attitude. And then he just gets more irate at me and, and, and talks nonsense. Uh, kept insisting this ID thing and we're going to charge you uh, with trespassing and and uh, possible burglary or whatever. I don't know. Just he was talking like nonsense. It really was, you know, it, what summed it up was him saying, I'll charge you based on how I feel or something like that. However I feel, you know, about this, uh, I'll, I'll decide on how I charge you. So they've lost control. They've seriously lost control at Pacifica. Um, I explained to him that uh, there's other ways to ID somebody, and he's like, how? So I was like, well, you could check dearth, date of birth, you could check social security number. And he's like, well, it's just easier to get the ID. So they're looking for shortcuts, and they're giving a lot of attitude, working with just their emotions. It's ridiculous. So I was trespassed from the library. Another library I was trespassed from. And they said, don't come back that night. Don't come back the next night. And they followed me out when I when I tried, when I I drove out. Some guy was waiting for me to pull out. And then he followed me a little ways out of the library. I checked the... <clears throat> I went to get the, the uh, FOIA request from the city hall about uh, when was Sanchez Library broken into. And I, and I got back some information that uh, they had a... Uh, some I, I, it looks like an alarm was set off because the 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 response was insufficient evidence to pretty much six times over the past two years that this library had some kind of um, burglary alarm. They had a code that went on, that they inputted into their system that said burglary, but <clears throat> the response was insufficient evidence for all of them. Okay, that gives me the impression that maybe it was a, an alarm of some kinds. And the last one was back in August. I mean, we're talking between now, we're, we're talking a year ago, all right, with well, the last time. And then before that was back in January of 2016, so, you know, like seven months ago or so. And then before that, we're getting into 2015, okay. And these times, the times that they occurred, there was a range, it seemed mostly uh, in, in around the 9 a.m. area, okay? One happened at 1 p.m. and then another happened at like 6.30 a.m. or something. No, I didn't see any times, there's no pattern there, there's no real pattern to follow, but the time that I, I got harassed was about 10 p.m., okay? So there's no pattern there. They had insufficient evidence with these these uh, break-ins that they said that did occur. So it's it's uh, it's really you know 
them them to be looking for burglary tools in my bag from 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 an insufficient evidence uh, burglary response during the daytime, most likely when the library is open the way it looks, that's when most of them are happening. It's it's just it's ridiculous. So if if an alarm accidentally goes off, everybody suspect. I will say what's strange is when the library next to to the Oracle building went off the, the, and the library was closed, this is a different situation. Me and a couple other people were just out back using the internet Wi-Fi, just hanging out. A cop shows up and I start recording, but he, he's like, oh, the alarm went off again. Just, just checking it. And he just kind of checked the doors a little bit and then he walked away. He wasn't like, let's see your ID. The alarm went off, let's see your ID. You know, everybody, everybody has a different approach. I believe Pacifica police have lost faith or, or just, just lost uh, hope in their, in their leadership because they're, they're acting erratic with, with, uh, with people. I mean, we're, we're talking nonsense with these break-ins. There, there's just, there's nothing that really occurred. It, it looks just like, like alarms that went off. And they're reacting with with all this nonsense of oh I'll, I'll charge you if I, how I feel and you're trespassed from here, and as a verbal trespass that wasn't cleared up yet I don't understand, you know I'll just stay away because the on the lowest level of this this police units they're acting very erratic, and that's a, that's a sign of poor leadership they're, that the leaders aren't able to wrangle it in the leaders are are erratic themselves. And it could it could come from the mayor on down. How how you want to look at the leadership structure and and how how they're uh, they're treating each other or whatnot. So it's it's utter nonsense. That's that's my conclusion.